G'day, uh, conspiracy theorists. I've just been talking to a few people lately on the phone about um, buying bullion. So here's where I'm currently buying my bullion from. This is uh, Ainsley Bullion in Brisbane. I used to buy from the Perth Mint, but they became too difficult and try and made me re-register and all that, so I canned them. There is also as good as gold Australia, um, but they are pretty much out of silver. Um, now, why do I say silver, not gold? Let's have a look here. And um, silver to gold ratio. Here we go. Now, the current ratio is 76.394. All you really need to know is when it gets to, say, 40, you start you buy gold instead of silver. Um, that, that means there's 76 ounces, 76.3 ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold. This may be probably in, uh, in US dollars, but it doesn't really matter. The gold to silver ratio is the same in Australia as it is in, in the UK or, or anywhere else in the world, probably, or whatever. It's just, it, let's call it 76.394. So it's too many ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold. So the ratio is out. It should, like if it's, if it's, um, if, if silver is expensive compared to gold, then it's down at 40, 30, 20, 20 to one, 10 to one, whatever. Uh, it should be around 15 to one, but, but we're not going to get into why uh, on this video, because I'm just going to go into what I do and how I buy my silver. So, uh, we're, we're here on Ainsley Bullion's website. I do use ABC Bullion. I have bought from ABC Bullion. Sorry to change the subject there. So we, you can see how we've got gold there at $2,634 and we've got silver at um, $3,494. Um, so that's the futures price. That's not the real price. Um, so that's the, that's the world futures price. That's what they, they pay for in futures contracts when you buy 10,000 ounces at once of silver. Um, and, and really, how you really want to price your silver is, let's go to buy silver. And, all right, $1,208.30 for a kilo. The first kilo I bought was $650 Australian. Never mind about that. I bought it, the, started buying at the bottom, and I've been buying ever since, every, every time I get a, get a pay. Um, so we've got, now watch out for this here. We've got pre-order here, see? So the Eureka is $46.40. So the world spot price is $34.94. And, and the real price is $47.40 because this pre-order, don't trust that. That pre-order, God knows when you'll get it. Not, not available till after the 31st of the 1st. You know, it, 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 you could send your dollars off and never get the silver. Don't trust that pre-order crap. So buy now. 47.40, anything cheaper? Oh, there's a Britannia there for 45.40, plus you've got freight and insurance on top of that. So these quite often come in tubes at 20 or 25, depending on the thickness of them. But that's the real price of your silver, is 45.40 an ounce, right? That's the cheapest. So all I do is find the cheapest if I'm gonna buy coins. If you're gonna get rid of a lot of dollars, then then a kilo, kilo uh, bars are the, are the best way to go, really. Um, you can get, there we go, they've got a thousand ounces, uh, sorry, a hundred ounces or a five kilo bar there for 5,921. Now, if this, the price of silver in dollars goes through the roof, it's, it starts becoming difficult. You know, that, that, that bar there will buy you, you know, 10 acres of land or something, you know. So uh, you just, in a, in a uh, Armageddon situation. But if you're just like some of the people I've talked to just want to save in silver or gold to... Uh, to hold your digits outside the banking system while you're saving for a house or something like that. Well, you can do that. You can buy five kilos, you know, you can buy, but but um, just don't be fooled by numismatics. Don't don't go buying stuff with pretty pictures on it um, for, for an extra high price. Here we've got the, the rabbit there for $48.90. Um, that's not too bad above spot, but still $3 more above spot. This is spot over here, this $34.94, that means not much. Um, so, so there's a premium, but yeah. So the the 45, 40s were how I'd go if I was going to buy the buy the coin or the you know the kilos. Um, so and and you do have to work it out if you're going to buy the five thousand, uh, the five kilo. Now, you know, a silver ounce is different to an ounce in the, in cooking. 
uh, an ounce in cooking is 28 grams. A silver ounce is 32.15, I think it is, grams. So a troy ounce, they call it, is more grams. It's heavier than a, than a cooking ounce. Um, so you can, you can go in here and, and do the calculation and work out. Um, so there's 100 ounces there. So let's do that. Let's do that just quickly. So we've got 100 ounce bar, 100. Or right. even to be sure, to be sure, you can just Google this. Um, yeah, uh, Troy ounce. Troy ounce of silver is 31.10 grams. Okay, so let's just call it 31 grams. Now, where were we? Okay, we've got. The screen just refreshed there because every five minutes the, the price is updated. So you lock a price in on one of these websites. But uh, so we've got a well, we've got a hundred ounces. So that's an easy one. Divided by three seven zero one. No, that's not right. Three seven zero one divided by one hundred. That's thirty seven dollars an ounce. That's pretty good. Anyone, any idiot could have worked that out. I'm not very good at maths. That's thirty. That's thirty-seven dollars an ounce. So that's very cheap. How about this one kilo? So we've got thirty-one point one grams. Actually, we've got twelve hundred and eight divided by thirty-one point one. That's thirty-eight dollars an ounce. So that's quite cheap too. It's only three. What's it? Three three bucks above spot. So that one kilo is pretty cheap, but that, that 100 uh, ounce was even cheaper at 37. Now let's try the five kilo. So we have 5,000, oh well, well we have five times five kilos. Now each kilo, that's where the maths gets hard. I'll pause it for a second till I work this out. Here we go, one kilogram is 32.15 troy ounces, okay? So we've got 32.15 times five equals 160, 160.75. So is that 160 ounces? 160.75. Equals 32.15. I'll pause it there for a second, make sure I've got my figures right. Yeah, that's right. So we've got five kilos is 160 ounces. Okay. So now we go back here and we get to 5,920 divided by 160, $37 an ounce. So you're getting, you're getting the five kilo bar for $37 an ounce. Okay, so, so that's the cheapest way to buy the silver right now. Anything, the one kilo, the hundred, uh, whatever. And so they're buy now, you can buy them now. So, so the coins are for the real conspiracy theorists to think if the internet and the power goes down, they'll have to swap that for uh, a horse or if it's fuel or something. Um, so the, it doesn't hurt to have some tubes of one ounce coins, but <clears throat> I started with getting a core position in one kilo bars first. So, so that, that, um, that, that gold to silver ratio, if you think of it like this at 76, it takes 76 ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold, uh, which means it takes 76 kilos of silver to buy a kilo of gold. So one kilo of gold is, is a little thing that big and that fat, right? A tiny little thing about, you know, smaller than this thing. And then that's the kilo of gold. And then it takes, you know, 76 kilos of silver to, to for equivalent in dollars, if we, we're using dollars as a medium of exchange at the moment. So, but silver's, silver's cheaper. So I've, I've also got an article. Um, there it is, freedomonline.blog. The amateur economist, that's me. And we've got where to allocate capital here. 
Um, and so if I, you know, I, you can read through this article, I'll put the link in the description below, that's like they all say. And so it tells you where, where I've got my um, wealth divided into and, and physical, just to go through it quickly, physical silver within a few kilometers of my house is 47%. Physical gold, 1%. Digital dollars, 1%, my bank account. PSLV, Spot Physical Silver Trust, you send them dollars, they buy silver and store it in a vault. Now this is all online now, we're talking about online, so, so no internet, no power, can't get hold of your wealth, can't get, can't transfer anything, can't, can't do anything, can't cash anything in. But, but PSLV is a spot physical silver trust, so they get audited, I trust them, I send them dollars, they buy silver on my behalf and put it in a vault. But it's a, it's a trust fund, and then and then so that's, that's traded on the stock market, uh, PSLV. Um, it's, a, it's a Canadian or a, or a US company, I can't remember which, so you've got to have an international trading account to buy it. So digital dollars, Kinesis, now, Kinesis, I've done other videos on Kinesis, so maybe I'll put, to, put a link in the description. Physical cash, half a percent, losing 10 to 15 percent a year. Bad currency that should be spent first in a crisis while people will still accept it. Dividend paying stocks, uh, we've got Polymet, Polymetal International, 3 percent. Agnico Eagle Mines, 14.5 percent, um, which have a 2.99 percent yield. And, and on it goes, I've got the you know, B2 Gold, Petro Brass, 29.13% uh, yield. Yan Coal, Australian coal mining company, everyone hates them, beautiful, 9.1% uh, return. Um, BHP is actually quite a good company too for uh, low price to earnings ratio, cheap on sale and pr providing a 9.3% return. Uh, I've got Kazatom from, uh, which is a, a Kazakhstan um, nuclear uranium company that enriches uranium so it's good fuel for reactors supplies 50 percent of the world's enriched uranium for for your reactors or re uranium for reactors not for bombs uh sprot sprot uranium trust um one percent that's just a pure speculation on the price of uranium going up zero debt so um and here's the here's the books i read uh, before ever ever buying a stock, I read *The Intelligent Investor* by Ben Graham, *Human Action* by Ludwig von Mises, *The Evil Princes of Martin Place* by Chris Leithner. He's in Brisbane. That's a good read. And *Money Sound and Unsound* by Joseph T. Salerno of the Mises Institute. Uh, and it goes through a bit more there. But anyway, back to buying gold. So it's buying silver and buying gold. So here we go. I'll buy bullion on the on the uh, Ainsley Bullion is who is who's on who I'm dealing with all the time now. So they've got quite a simple website. So you've got, um, there we go, in stock now, Australia's biggest seller, we've got uh, coins, and you can work your way down. Uh, one ounce, Krugerrands, let's get, and then all the way down to 50 ounce silver bullion, 10 ounce, 10 ounce, half a kilo bullion there, 617, I paid about 550 for one not long ago. And we've got one kilo Ainsley silver bullion at 11.95.62, which is cheaper than the ABC. Um, where's that ABC bullion? That's 1207.70, and this one's 11.95. Uh, and there's a Perth Mint one there too. So uh, I make sure that these guys aren't, aren't offering, you know, pick up later or whatever. So. You can also, um, they have a, the Ainsley Bullion has, has a, a reserve vault. If I could go right down the bottom here and have a look. Let's see if there's anything on the, uh, in the website. No, not there. The Melbourne vault, reserve vault, there it is. So we can go to reserve vault. Secure storage from $2 a week. So you can store your um, silver in the reserve vault or gold. So gold's a fantastic thing for, for, for you know, only a small amount of gold, a, a kilo of gold soaks up, you know, 85,000 bucks, I think. I haven't actually looked at that this morning. We should probably go and have a look at that. How much is a, uh, a kilo of gold? Look, it's not even on their website. Oh yeah, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, buy gold. Here we go, buy, buy gold. Yep, so an ounce of gold is, two, see, here we go, 2,634, 2,694. So you pay that plus freight and insurance. With the freight and insurance, not much anyway. It's only, it's a bugger all couple of bucks. 
but, but you can see how you pay more. So, and where have we got our one kilos? Re oops, refreshing the price. 250 grams, one kilo. There we go, one kilo of gold there. ABC bullion cast by $85,000. So, you know, 85,000 you can you can put away and it'll take it'll it'll take uh, 75 or 79 uh, kilos of silver or one kilo of gold. Um, a kilo of gold when when things go pear shaped, you know, instead of it buying a uh, a, a near new second hand land, land cruiser, that, or well, yeah. Kilo of gold by a cattle station, you know. So you got to watch out for that. You don't want to put it all just in one chunk. You can if you like. If you've got several million dollars, yes, uh, buy some kilos for sure, for sure. But uh, so it, it just depends on you know how much you're spending and and what's practical. There's there's a risk uh, to everything. There is nothing nothing that's free of risk. Um, but the easiest way and the best way for me is to just go on Ainsley Bullion. Uh, they will just Take down your details. They'll do you know your customer bullshit. Um, you'll have to, you know, hand over your mother, your firstborn child, and and show them photos of yourself and all that crap they do, and track you, make sure they know where you live, and all that rubbish. Um, so you do that first. You pay ten percent on your debit card. Then they send you a bill for the rest of it. You pay the bill within a couple of days. It's on the truck. It's up to you. It's delivered to you to a business in town here or wherever you want it to be delivered. And, and you take delivery of it. And if you were to sell it again the same day and do a contract with them, you'd lose 10%. Uh, you, can, you can take a photo of a kilo of silver and put it on Facebook Marketplace uh, and work out and take off the freight charge and then just sell it for you know the price you bought it for today. But if you do a deal with a bullion uh, a dealer, well, then, then you'll, you'll lose 10% if you do it in the same day. But, if I was to sell that kilo of, 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 of first kilo of silver I bought, well, I'd, get, I'd double my money today. But this is not about, this is, well, I doubled my currency. I'd only doubled Australian dollars, which is worthless. So to store your deposit or save up, you know, two, two ounces of silver filled up your car in 1965 and it's filled it up in two, year 2000 and two ounces of silver still fills your car up. So it hasn't lost its value against the dollar. The same as land, the same as... Yeah, that's what real estate does. It doesn't. It goes up and down, but over long periods of time, it, it's dirt. It holds its value against the dollar because the dollar is the thing that's losing its value, and the dollar is the thing that's becoming worthless and will become worthless into the future as we go forward. So, to protect yourself from bank runs uh, and and lockdowns and well, not, sort of bail-ins where they where they tell you you can only have 50 euros a day out like they did in in uh, Cyprus in 2012 where you know if you don't if you don't trust because when you hand your dollars to the banking system you give it to them you're an unsecured creditor of them and they can decide whether they need to pay you or not so they can bail you in you've lost control of your wealth so don't don't be holding it sitting in a normal old savings account you know buy some stocks in BHP buy some silver do something with it like I said, and the silver is only is only insurance. It's it's just insurance against currency crisis. It doesn't produce an income. Like you can say that gold's gone up twenty percent a year forever, and it has, right? So you could hold a million dollars worth of gold and, and sell that twenty percent every year and keep your principal. Uh, and and say you you're getting an income of twenty you're getting a twenty percent return. That's true. But, but it doesn't actually generate income. It doesn't. It's not a. It's not a cash flow real estate, and, and it's not. It's not a shoe factory making shoes and, and or or a service station that's making a profit or a mining company. It's not making a profit. It's just sitting there insuring you against any um, uh, ups and downs in the economy or any any uh, banking crisis, which I think we're heading towards. Um, but that's another video. So a safe way. Uh, you know, if you can't buy land right now because there's a shortage of listings, you just want to park it somewhere else and park it somewhere safe and make sure that you don't lose it. So even putting it in the reserve vault, if you've got millions of dollars worth, I would do that. But there is still a risk. There's still a political risk. There's still a risk. There's a risk of war. There's a risk of confiscation. There's lots of risks. But uh, generally still, we're just hanging on by our... By our fingernails but we're hanging on to the rule of law in Australia and private property rights and for the moment 
So as far as I'm concerned, all the mints in Australia are the banks. They're the real banks. And, and the, the fake banks with the fake dollars that, that have just got digits on a screen that have got nothing backing it up, they're the fraud. So out of the fraudulent system into a real system. Um, also, Kinesis. Now, let's talk about Kinesis for a second. Money, Kinesis money. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually get my head out of the way here and I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you what I've got because so, I don't really care that much. And you can't, you can't steal this off me anyway. So, oh, I'm already logged in. So, my balance is 1,050 US, right? But what I really have is 18 grams of gold and one ounce of silver in the Kinesis system. You send them dollars, they buy bullion. And in the in the alloc what's called the allocated bullion exchange, which is a is a I'll pause there and I'll get back to you. Yeah. So what I was saying is is that balance uh, if the price of gold goes up. So I I, I don't care about the the uh, one thousand and eighty that I own. I, I own eighteen grams of gold there and one ounce of silver. Um, this is an exchange. I can I can put Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that rather rubbish on there too. But I, I just so yeah, allocated bullion exchange. They've got a, a vault in Sydney. They've got one in Liechtenstein. They've got one in New York. They've got one in South America somewhere. Um, maybe one in Africa. They, they've got a few around the world, and they're they're a recognised bullion exchange that is audited twice a year. So um, this all, all obviously has the risk of of um, I have to I have to channel dollars from a bank account that I've that I've been paid in or whatever and channel them. Uh, but it's just a n normal National Australia Bank account in Australia to transfer, open an account with these guys and I'll put a link in the description below as usual. But so you can you can funnel dollars in there and, and then you can go and buy these grams of gold and, and ounces of silver on the blockchain. So it's storing it on the blockchain. And now we have this virtual card here. I'll just get my <clears throat> head out of the way. That virtual card there is is um, being approved, and, and it's just a, it's just a virtual debit card. So you can you can swipe your phone boop, and uh, pay for your groceries with gold. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're going to pay a. Yet yeah, now I get a yield. I get a yield. Here we go. Yields off here. So I've been getting these yields. Here's my yield for November. It's a dollar thirty. Um, so it's like interest. So so there's holders yield and velocity yield. So I get paid a certain amount every every transaction. Um, but when I do buy groceries with my gold uh, in the allocated bullion exchange, it costs me 1.9%, I think. But the yields help to give some back because I'm in the system. So if you you can also um, have, have a, you know, you can send these guys your silver. I think you need six kilos of silver uh, minimum and you need three ounces of gold around about minimum. And you can actually physically send it to them and open your account and and hold your wealth in in gold so, so if the price of gold goes up today in dollars all of a sudden i have an extra balance here see i've got a balance here the australian dollars i've got eight dollars fifty there and if the if the price of gold goes up uh you know th this is uh, i think if you want to buy kau it's 57.95 us an ounce right so if it, it goes up to $62, uh, sorry, a gram, 57.95 a gram. Um, so each KAU is one gram. If it goes up, uh, then then this balance here shows more dollars just automatically because the price of gold's gone up and I'm holding it in gold on the blockchain. It's a fantastic system. If you trust that the uh, you know electronic system is going to continue, probably will in this country, um, but you know, We'll have the Bowen blackout soon, so we won't have any power. So this will be hopeless, no, no good to you. But I'd rather keep it here than keep it in a bank account because it's not, you know, uh, getting eroded by inflation for a start. And the gold and the silver will account for all the inflation, uh, the same as real estate does. So, you know, that's it. That's another option for you if you want to, you know, fuck. If I wanted to move to South America, I could, I could put all my silver and gold on this system. And then redeem it when I get over there. It won't be exactly the same bars, but you know, if I wanted to move to Mexico, instead of trying to transport silver across the world, I mean, you lose it. It's too expensive to insure it. It's a pain in the ass. Whatever gold, you can do it, but 
why bother? You can just put it in here, get over there, redeem it and have it delivered to you. So these guys will deliver. They will deliver your silver. I think it's once again, a minimum of six kilos of silver and a, and a minimum of three, three ounces of gold. Um, so, but you can take total delivery and pull your balance back down to zero on the system if you really wanted to. And people do. People, you know, would want to move a few million bucks worth of precious metals across to another country. Uh, then, then you can put it in the Kinesis system and you're in the allocated bullion exchange system. So this video is not supposed to be about selling Kinesis, but it's fantastic on the blockchain, totally accountable, much better. So this is a real bank. This is where you store your physical wealth. And the, and the great thing is we've got the blockchain technology now, so uh, no shenanigans can go on. So uh, how to buy silver and, and gold? Yeah, try and stick to the, to the spot price, as close to the spot price as possible. Don't worry about these numismatics and all these fancy coins and all this sort of stuff. Don't, don't bother with that rubbish. Just get, your, get your, your silver as close to spot as possible. And uh, if you're only wanting to hold it for a few months while you wait for a property to come up, you can use Kinesis, you know, but if you're saving, if you're saving real savings that you're not going to spend for a long time, one day you will, you want to trade your gold and silver for something, real estate or something, uh, you know, or hand it on to your kids or whatever. But Kinesis is an easy one. Um, but yeah, if you, or the reserve vault in Brisbane, either way, just yeah, keep it, keep it as, as close to spot as possible. And like I said, there's a risk with it all, but, um, and, and I'll put my phone number in here in this video in the link in the description below so you can have a chat to me about it if you've got any questions. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.